Okay, let's get started. So I am trying a different editor uh, to see if this shows up better in the recorded video. Um, anyway, this is Emacs with um, um, the LSP and GoPLS um, packages installed. So today I'm just going to do a quick video on tags. So what's a tag? So we've seen a lot of times uh, a person type, for example, uh, just, or any structure, you know, um, has some fields and you might see a tag uh, something on the end like this this is a tag this is basically saying that for anything that wants to look up the JSON tag the value is first name now how does this get used so let's take a quick look at uh, serializing this so let's go ahead and do uh, 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 let's do an E equals encoding, and I want JSON dot new encoder, and I'm just going to go ahead and use standard out E dot encode. And we're going to give it a new person, so person. And we're going to fill in the fields. First name Joe. Last name user. And age. Uh, let's make Joe 50. Okay. Let me go ahead and control XS, control XO. We'll just uh, uh, go uh, dark ink um, and we'll call this uh, use tags. Okay. Okay, so we get um, our output is first name, last name, user. Okay, so what do we see here? We see that um, instead of being capital F, capital N name, we see the value of the tag. First name is the name of the field and last name as the user age that we didn't add a tag to shows up in the default format, which is just to take the uh, name of the field, which in this case is uppercase. Now, a lot of times in JSON, you'll see uh, the, the the names of fields are snake case uh, and uh, not title case like age. All right, so that's how encoding uses uh, tags. But we can also use let's let's see how that's a result of using tags. But let's see how we can use tags. So. Let's go ahead and get the type of t of person. So let's move our person declaration up here. And we'll do P. Okay. So uh, how does how do, how does JSON look at this, or the JSON encoder look at these these tags? So let's go ahead and get the type of P. So T equals reflect dot uh, type of and P. Okay, so now we have um, now we have T, which is the type of P. So T dot um, we can do a field is equal to t dot field by and we can do field by name so let's go ahead and grab the first name field and why are we unhappy oh it returns a pool format okay so 
if we got a field for first name, uh, we can um, take a look at its tags. So we're going to go ahead and look up the tag by name. In this case, we're going to look up uh, the JSON tag. And we're going to head and printf the JSON tag. And this also returns uh, an OK. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Right, returns an OK lookup. Uh, looks returns a string or an OK. So good, OK. If OK, we're going to head and print that. Uh, otherwise, we'll go ahead and say, Okay, and when we run this, we see we got the value of the tag. So, let's say we wanted to um, write our own kind of processor and we pass it something and we do something. So, for example, in my case, I'm looking at doing dependency injection. I might want to mark uh, on a tag how we would like to inject this. Um, I want to say tags are separated by commas, so let's do uh, inject. So we are going to look for inject I think this is right, so let's see if it runs. Let's see, are they separated by semicolons? Oh, and I think it is separated by commas. Nope. Let's see if it's just a space. Oh, forgot to change the name. So yes, so now I've added my own field of foo. Uh, we could also Um, so the tag is a field, so tag equals f dot tag, tag dot Um, looks like that's pretty much it. We can get and we can look it up. Um, so yes, we would have to know the name of the tag, so we can't just browse the tags. But anyway, long story short, that is how you can look at tags for a field. What happens if we just print the tag?
see what that does. Oh, we see the tags that are present. Okay, so that's how you look at the tag. Anyway, long story short, uh, you can add tags to types and then write things that will process things based on that tag, and you just use the reflect package to pull back the, uh, the tags and their values. Um, and that's pretty much it. There's not a lot to tags, uh, but they are very useful, and if you're writing library code, you may wind up using them. Um, I don't know, usual thing, I guess. Uh, hit subscribe uh, if you want to. Um, I guess there's like a bell thing. I don't know. You do you. I'll see you again soon.